Oh, I love it. I love it. This actually does translate pretty well. Just the camera doesn't know what to do with it. I love it. Wow. Hey. Yo, it's Friday, yo. My drink matches my shirt, sort of. Have I ever told you how much Dale Earnhardt Jr. pretends he loves Diet Mountain Dew? Mmm. I like it too. By the way, here's to you. It is Friday. It's 6.10 p.m. An early Friday for me. Uh, it's currently 81 degrees and cloudy. And I don't know if it's going to rain or not. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Tonight, a pivotal game six. I almost said pivotable, which is a, also a word, but different. But the game is, in fact, pivotal as the Rangers travel to New Jersey to take on the Devils, the Rangers being of New York and not of Texas. If the Rangers lose, the Devils are in the Stanley Cup Finals, and I will have grown this beard for nothing. If they win, there will be a Game 7 on Sunday, and Kim will have at least one day to enjoy this beard. Kim returns tomorrow. Her flight comes in at 1 p.m., which I consider early for a Saturday. Prime sleeping in time will be lost, but it'll be worth it because uh, I miss her. Aww. But more importantly than all that, as I realize I forgot to start my stopwatch because it's lying over here, today is the final day, day five, Canadian Junk Food Week. As we, oh, box is getting empty. The item that started the whole discussion via James, Hawkins Cheesies. James says of Hawkins Cheesies, they are uniquely Canadian and far superior to Cheetos. I'll mail you some if you promise to sample them on the YouTubes. That was 17 days ago. And now, I'm finally... Fulfilling my promise of enjoying these corn snacks, 80 grams worth. Greg notes, he says, Almez. The good thing about them is they're made from real fromage. Cheddar. Which I think means that there's like a lot of cheese in there, but somehow it gets baked into this crunchy kind of, I don't know. Cheetos are a mystery. There must be a corn base so there wouldn't be corn snacks. The salt, this all started with me making a comment about enjoying store brand off Cheetos, sometimes a little more than regular Cheetos. Now these don't look like they're actually as crunchy as the Cheetos Cheetos, but they may be closer to the other kind of Cheetos than ours crunchy. Why don't I just try them? They're quite crunchy. They taste like Cheetos at first. But there's some other interesting aftertaste that makes it taste more like, mmm, you know. So even more than the cheese flavor, yeah, I should have seen it. The first ingredient is cornmeal, so they taste more like um, that cornmeal snack that my mom used to make hardly ever. Because it was so dense and it was at least 400 calories a, a thing, but it, basically it was like cornmeal and oil, and just kind of pounded into a flat sheet, and then baked until it was really crispy. Kind of like a stone ground corn chip, but not. But that's what it tastes like. So it must be the cornmeal and hydrogenated vegetable oil. I notice in Canada they don't. They say they're trans fats, but they don't delineate out, wow, this package, so it must be good, half my daily uh, intake of saturated plus trans fats, but they don't say how much is saturated and how much is trans, which makes me think most of it is trans. Interesting thing about trans fats, they're delicious, but it puts me in mind of another cheesy snack, um, gosh, I've forgotten the name of it, but I have a long... It's made in Wisconsin, and you can get it down at the Walgreens. And 
gosh, now I'm have to look it up. How am I going to find it? I, I wrote a blurb about it on Facebook long ago. So I'll just have to go through my Facebook likes and see if it comes up. But it was like the only food in existence that still had trans fats in it here in America. Leave it to Wisconsin, right? But the thing about them, and the thing about these, is once I start eating, I don't feel like I want to wolf the entire bag like I do with today's Lay's and Doritos and whatnot that are trans fat free. So despite the fact that basically trans fats are awful, there's actually something in them that satisfies me and keeps me from eating the entire package in one sitting. So I kind of in favor of trans fats. Well, likes. Ah, looks like I have 138 likes on Facebook. That's good to know. Oh, but I'll never find it. Wow. Wait, I think I th Earl's Cheese Puffs. Is that it? Yes. Ah, yes, I have a picture of those somewhere, too. Earl's Super Party Size Cheese Puffs. The post I made on July 28, 2011, all about Earl's Cheese Puffs and trans fats. Wow. These kind of remind me of those, though. These are great. These are good. I'd have to put them side by side with Earl's, though. Now i got to go to Walgreens and get another bag of Earl's. Hmm. Yesterday I went to the grocery store. Here's some American fast, uh, some American junk food I wanted to share with you. First of all, they're on sale, so I got a bag. This is the old Dutch Ripples. They're Ruffles brand. These are the Loaded Spud, and you can see they have cheese, sour cream, chives, and bacon. They don't actually taste like any of those things. They just taste like a very overly spiced chip. But I wanted to show it to you, so I bit the bullet and bought a bag, and I'm sure I will eat them. Here's something I've never seen before. BLT flavored Lay's. What? Yes. Now, BLT inspired. Bacon and tomato is an awesome combination. That's one of my favorite salad dressings, but it's never in stock. Or it's in stock, and then it's not. So I just have to buy a lot of bottles and keep them in the cupboard. So I'm looking forward to that. Those were super cheap. I Instagrammed that yesterday. I hope you saw it. I know you follow me on Instagram. Don't you? Pardon me. You also saw the Instagram photo of my main thoroughfare, Cleveland Avenue, having been flash flooded and closed to all traffic. What it really does is it kind of creates this road course where you go through Semantic's main parking lot. It's very curvy. Very exciting. But a lot of people who don't work with Semantic end up doing it, which isn't as much fun because it's supposed to be a detour only for Semantic people. How long have I been talking? Did I hit 10 minutes yet? It's going to be close. Uh, but there are a couple things I wanted to get to, and I'll be quick. There are comments from the W. First, I'll say hi to Scott, who wrote me back on Facebook. Hey, Scott. Like me, are you figuring that long distance is the way to keep it? <laughs> Scott was a friend of mine in Modesto, and it turns out he, he lives about 15 miles from me now, but I'm, like, deathly afraid to go meet him. So, we haven't. That's the difference between online me and real life me. Real life me is so much more boring than online me. Aaron got his Canadian food. He has not uh, eaten them yet, or we would see a video of that. Sometime over this three-day weekend, I expect it'll happen. Chris talks a little more about uh, the Roundies contest. I should say the Rainbow contest. Uh, I said I never win, but I, I won four additional things. So you get a thing and you open it up and it's got four game pieces and a coupon or an instant win. So I instantly won two more sets of two pieces. So I have even more pieces to go through. Hooray. The football game we did have at the beginning of the year, but it was a Vikings themed one, not a Packers one. And again, that was just so annoying. You just scratch stuff off. 
Somehow I, I won five bucks, though. And that was a surprise. I kind of thought that they were set up so that, like with the free ticket one, they were all the same uh, symbol underneath when you scratched them off. So you could scratch off any three and you would win. But later I found out that wasn't the case because I had another $5 one that didn't win. So, like, I learned my lesson. But the free ticket one, although I never actually proved it by burning one, you could always get the free ticket because it was always the same symbol under each one. And it was always the same, I think it was a football symbol. And that was probably a cue for the stores to figure out how to give it out. This is so boring to everyone but me and Chris, and probably even to Chris. We'll talk more about it later, I'm sure. Doug says, we only got a half day today in our office in anticipation of the long weekend. Did you? I wish. No, I came in, but someone bought pizza for us today, which was very nice. So we had uh, free pizza. But even coming in, parking lot was half full. There were so many people taking today off. And all the people that I needed to work with seemed to have today off, so they didn't answer my email. So really, it's kind of like a half day for me because, well, it's 6 o'clock and I'm done. And normally I still have a couple hours of work left to do. So that was good. So it is a three-day weekend. Monday I will not be taping a video because I won't be here, which is too bad because I've got a really bitchin' shirt planned, but I'll have to wear it to work someday instead. I am almost certain that I'm over time, so I'm going to wrap it up unless... Nope, that's it. Okay. Thank you for watching one more week. It's been a great week, hasn't it? Canadian Junk Food Week. There is some stuff in here that it's uh, candy. Most of it is going to go home. Uh, I now feel that maybe I got two Coffee Crisp bars because I was supposed to share one with Kim. It took me long enough to think of that, but my two weeks of bachelorette is over as well, thank God. So it should be a good time. And I didn't even get into the marathon that is watching the Indy 500 and the Coke 600. I got a can of NOS to make sure that I actually stay awake this year. We'll see if that works or not. Go Rangers! I did win the Boiled Peanuts contest. More on that next week. Thank you for watching. I love you. I will see you next week, next Tuesday, God willing. I'm pretty sure he is. Thank you, God. <laughs>